Hi guys! So, as you might be able to tell, my hair is now purple, as you can see. Um, I did actually go ahead and dip dye it, which I said that I was going to do in some of my previous videos, and I'm super happy with how it turned out, and I actually filmed the whole, pro the whole process for you guys, so hopefully this video will help some of you guys out. So, I'm going to start from the beginning. Basically, three days ago, no, two days ago, I decided that I wanted to dip dye the ends of my hair purple. So I took some of the La Riche Directions Violet hair colour and I mixed a tiny little amount of this in with some Tresemme conditioner. I just got a massive thing of this. It's just a white conditioner and I mixed these two together, only a tiny quantity of this, and then I... Um, used a brush and as well as my fingers to just kind of like apply it to the ends of my hair and I will show you how I did that later on in the video but basically it turned out super super pale it wasn't very noticeable I don't think I put enough purple in and also I decided that maybe my hair wasn't blonde enough so I then decided that I would bleach it so the products that I used to bleach it were this True Zone Cream Peroxide I used 20 volume and then I used the True Lights Rapid Blue Powder Bleach and I got this as a set on eBay and I will link below where I got it from, the seller and I think this was about £13 for both of them and they're kind of like massive tubs so you can definitely reuse these again. So I followed the directions that were on the on the back of the products and I also mixed in a kind of large-ish dollop of shampoo and I kind of, uh, just to make the mixture slightly weaker and to kind of um, dilute the bleach a bit so it wasn't as damaging um, and then I mixed it all together and I started applying it on my hair and I will insert some clips of how I applied this to my hair. didn't get very much footage of it because I didn't notice that my camera had completely cut out filming um, when I was only about five minutes into the process but basically what I did is I applied it um, to my ends first like this and then I took the brush and I just kind of like striped it by my roots because I still wanted to keep my roots so that my eyebrows still match my, match my roots and stuff and I didn't want to have like completely bleach blonde roots so I kept my roots and I just put bleach on all the parts of my hair that um so I just kind of like striped it in my hair like this and I don't know how well you can tell in the video but 
yeah, this is basically how I applied it. I know it probably wasn't the best way. I'm not a professional and I know that hairdressers would probably be really angry and I probably did this all wrong, but this is just personally how I did it. So I put that on my hair and once I'd applied it on all of it, I got really scared and I only left it on for like five minutes because I didn't want my hair to completely break off and snap and yeah, I was just really scared that it was gonna go horribly wrong. So I then washed it out and it was bright orange. So at this point I started to really freak out and I was thinking, oh my god, my hair is orange, I've ruined it, I didn't know what to do, I, I was just so upset. Um, and so I found my directions silver toner which I have showed in a previous haul video um, and it's basically just a really deep blue colour so I just was scooping this out with my hands, I just applied it all over my hair I could have done with two pots because I did actually run out which again wasn't great <laughs> I probably wasn't the most prepared for this but I literally like smothered that all over my hair just hoping that it was going to fix it and I left that on for I think between 30 to 40 minutes And when I washed it off, luckily, it was this colour, which is pretty much the same colour as it was before, so I don't think it actually lightened my hair that much because I only left it on for five minutes. Um, but hey-ho, you know, you live and you learn, so next time I would leave it on for a little bit longer. Oh, and by the way, before I did this whole bleaching process, I had put coconut oil all over my hair for about two hours because, um, like I've said in my previous videos, coconut oil protects your hair from some of the damage from the bleach. So I think that definitely did help with my hair not like snapping off and breaking. So my hair was covered in coconut oil, I then put the bleach on, washed off the bleach, put on the silver toner for 30 to 40 minutes. It then turned out this blonde colour, but I'm not sure if you can see some of the bits underneath are still quite yellow. And yes, I know my roots are very dark under here because my hair is much darker underneath than it is on top. Uh, if you can see this kind of like um, dark blonde colour, that is my natural hair colour and so I then went to dye my hair lilac on the bottoms again this was the next day by the way I forgot to mention when I applied the bleach to my purple ends from when I first tried to dye it the purple bits went green and then the rest of my hair went orange so it was literally just a disaster but the silver toner seemed to fix it really well and then it all kind of turned out one colour, thank god. So yes, the next day I went to dye my ends purple again, so I mixed up a larger amount of the purple in with a load of conditioner and I applied it on my hair as you can see here. I basically just kind of like rubbed it in with the gloves and just kind of like let, tried to blend it upwards um, so that it wasn't kind of like a harsh line. Um, 
and then I left that on for about 20 minutes and then when I washed it out it was a really light um, pastel purple and it hadn't really kind of taken to all of my hair so some bits were still kind of blonde and I think maybe I'd missed a few bits when I was actually colouring it um, so today I tried again and I this time I used much more of the I used about double the amount of the purple that I used in the clips that I just inserted. Um, so yeah, I used much more of the Directions purple colour and I mixed it in with the conditioner and then I applied it in the exact same way and this time I left it on for half an hour and when I washed it out it looked something like this. So as you can see it worked a lot better this time. It's much more noticeable and I really, really love it. I also did some nails to match, which is quite exciting. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out and my hair doesn't feel any more damaged than it was when I first started this process, which is really good. And it's not exactly how I wanted it to be because my hair is still pretty yellow underneath here, but I'm going to buy some toner on eBay and hopefully try and fix this, but I'll do that once the purple washes out because at the moment I'm really liking how it looks and yeah. That's basically the story of how I got my purple hair and I hope some of you guys found this a bit helpful. Maybe you shouldn't follow all my advice on the bleaching and if you're not sure how to use bleach or if you're not comfortable doing it yourself, I would highly recommend going to a professional. Oh, I'm just a bit kind of uh, silly in that I don't really like going to the hairdressers because they never seem to get it right and I'd rather spend kind of £20 doing my own hair spend £200 on getting somebody else to do it and then it not being how I want so I've kind of been a bit naughty and not gone to the hairdressers in a while. So I hope you guys might have found this video helpful um, if you're thinking of dip dyeing your ends purple and I'm really sorry that the footage isn't that great so I really like the way it turned out and if you guys do too then please give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe and leave in the comments some of your kind of recommendations for my hair if you like or your stories about dyeing your hair, I'd love to hear them and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! The first place I went, obviously, was 